Hi Internet, Rainy Brain here. Today I'm going to be making some dragonfly art. I'm going to be joining a swap for a 4 inch by 6 inch piece of artwork and I've decided to use some master boards and a cutout design of a dragonfly. I'll be using this first master board to punch some hexagons and I'll be sticking them onto a smaller piece of cardstock. Not sure if it's obvious on camera, but there are a few places on the edge where I've just missed it with the hexagons. I could put just a little tiny sliver of paper in those spaces, but I've decided instead I'm going to just trim it a little more than I originally planned. And now I've sketched this dragonfly design a couple of times. This is the one I am happiest with, so I'll be cutting out the shapes to use as templates. And this will be the master board I used to make the dragonfly. This is my pastel party master board. It's the first master board I filmed myself making for YouTube. So please be sure to check out the video process of myself making it. the wings to stand out from the background a little more than they are so I'll be giving them a border with white cardstock and then I'm going to turn everything into stickers and assemble it
I recently did a swap where my partner sent me a bunch of these inspirational little tidbits. And this is the first time I'm getting to use one and it says it's the little things that make life big. And I just love it. Just giving everything a good press to make sure nothing falls off and it sticks on nice and tight. And there it is! I typically make artist trading cards which are two and a half by three and a half inches. So this is a little bigger than what I usually make, but not so much bigger that I was overwhelmed. I really like how it turned out and hopefully whoever gets to receive it also likes it. Please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!